You know, there are many Christians today who think Christian relationship is politics. And in fact, in the world now, they are preaching it and they think what we are doing. Somebody asked me the other day that somebody said, um, most ministers now are doing relevance by association. What does that mean? I say, I don't know. Because that's a world system operation. The body of Christ is not politics. The body of Christ is not the economic sphere. You can associate with people in order to draw relevance in the public or economic or governmental cycle, not in the body. In this kingdom, there's a quality control agent. It's God himself. No man will be lifted until God vets him, until God approves him. If you like, walk with a bishop all your life. Do everything. Sing his name or let him even sing your name. Go and ask those big ministers. There are many people they have called out in the public and said, I believe this one. They didn't go anywhere. It's the one God wants to raise that he raises. Only God makes men. The kingdom is not politics. So what God does is, he checks your heart to see if your heart is ready. Because this thing is about heart, not about people, not about human approval. If your heart is ready, then God can transfer a grace, an authority, an honor, a dimension, or whatever it is he wants to transfer. That thing is what your generation sees. He said, my horn have thou exalted like the horn of the unicorn. So if you like, be associated with anybody. If your horn is not exalted, you will not become anything. Listen to what God, God taught Moses. Joshua followed Moses everywhere. Everybody in the camp of the Israelites knew that Moses had validated Joshua. But God told him, if you make the mistake of thinking, if you live here because Joshua was with you, the people will follow him and honor him the way they honor you. You will be mistaken. He said, get that young man. Lay your hands upon him. I will take some of the honor that is on your life and put on him. So Joshua did not become relevant by associating with Moses. Joshua became relevant by the transference of the spirit of honor. That's how the kingdom works. See the disciples of Jesus. They followed him for three years or more. You will assume that when they go out, they'll say, I ah, see Peter now. This was the person that was following Jesus. Jesus told them, tarry in Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. If you go out and say, we were with Jesus, thinking that your generation will hear you, you are joking. So they had to wait until the spirit came. It is transference of spirit that make men relevant. And this is why for you to receive, you must have the heart of honor and readiness to serve. If that heart is not there, you can be there for many years. Nothing will become of you. So please, those of you who are young ministers, in case you are doing that, it won't work. Oh. If you snap with somebody and you love the person and you honor the person, project it on anywhere, celebrate it, celebrate that person. But don't make the mistake of thinking you become relevant by picture or by snapshot. You are wasting your time. I discovered this by experience. A bishop can call you to his platform and say, this man, I love him. This is a good man, hear him. You think somebody will go and earn his data and be wasting money hearing you if there's nothing on your life that God has used to announce you. You think people will just, <laughs> oh my. The people who give you seed, do you know how many of their relatives that they left to sow to you? You think somebody will now come and take his money and say, take, because this person validated you. Or you think that somebody will leave his house and follow you to where you are doing your meeting to sit down. Those of you who are here, say you know what it costs you to come here in this subsidy region. You think you will come here just because somebody looks at there and say, yes, I know Michael. I... You are joking. Your horn must be exalted and God must thunder over your life. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. That's what makes a generation hear you.